I have an expense list and what I'd like to do is consolidate that so that I have all my categories down one side and my months across the top or vice versa. I could do this the long way or the short way. I think we'll look at the short way. <laughs> Okay, so here is my expense um, list, and you can see I've got dates, category, items, suppliers, and amount. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like all the categories listed and then per month, um, added up per month. So in order to do that, I just click somewhere in. Now your list needs to have uh, no blank rows or columns, yeah. No blank rows, no blank columns, great. I've used something called a, a format as table, and I'll do another video on that one. And um, if you're interested in that, just put it in the comments and we can send you a link for that. But this format as table allows me to easily create a, a it's called a pivot table based on it. So I just click in one cell then I go up to insert and then pivot table and it asks me what my range is. This one's table one. If I didn't use format as table, I could highlight it or it might just select the range. It usually selects between blank rows and blank columns. So anything between a completely blank row and a completely blank column um, is going to be your data set or your record set. And in this case, mine's called table one. Where do I want to put it? I can put it on a new sheet or an existing sheet. I'm going to put this on a new one. I could have it over here, but nah. And then do I want to um, look at multiple tables? No, I just want to look at the one. So I'm just going to click on new. I'm just going to rename this one totals. And then you can see when I'm clicked in, I get this pivot table here. Okay, so when I click back on it, there we go. I just had to drag it to another screen and bring it back and it's made this um, the size that it should be. Okay, so I like categories down the side. When I tick the box, it automatically puts it in what it thinks or where it thinks it should be within the pivot table. There are, you can see, four different options. You have row labels here, rows. So this is the information on the rows. You have columns, which is going to be the headings across the top. Filter, it uh, used to be called page, and at the, it was at the very top, still is, and it's a drop down to filter. And then the value is the calculation that's going to appear here. So I've put my category in. I would like the amount to be the value and I can just tick and it, it will go, oh, okay, you wanna do that, fine. If it puts it in the wrong spot, so if I want category across the top, I can just click and drag, okay? And then I'm going to put date. See, I don't like date there. So I'm gonna get rid of that and all the other, and it's also added in quarters, months, etc. Okay, oh, uh, mount needed. So I can go through and add that to my columns and you can see it's created. It's just a click and drag. And if I didn't like something, I take it off, put it back on. And there we go. And I like this because I can see everything. That's it. Yeah. Now this one expands right to individual dates. I don't want that. So in my columns, I just find the original date and I drag it off or get rid of it. You can use the um, little drop down at the end and you can remove the field. You can also 
move them up down to the beginning. Okay. <clears throat> so say you want to do, do a chart with um, over several years, but you want to look at all quarter one for every single year, you could put quarter one above year, right? Like that and look. Okay, so it has quarter two. I guess I didn't have much, I think. I meant, whoops, quarter three and quarter four. So this one shows that I can compare October to October, etc., and that, but I actually want it the other way. So then I just drag and drop it down drag and drop it down. There we go. And it just readjusts itself. Okay, you can also right mouse click, you've got lots of options. I do like the collapse. So if I wanted to collapse everything, and again, you've got options up at the top. Um, yeah, I use the the label drop downs when I want to filter. So if I say, um, usually when I have a lot of data, I might have a couple of blank rows, like a blank cell, not rows, but in here it'll look blank. So then I can use the drop down and untick the blank. So it's quite handy. So that's how you create a um, expense kind of consolidated look or a total sheet for your expenses. Um, and if you uh, put in the comments, if you've actually tried this out and what other uses you can see for pivot tables, I'm probably do more videos on them because I do love them and I use them a lot. But if you found this video useful, helpful or interesting, please do click on that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much and have a really great day. Bye for now.